We're turning now to Africa's emerging entrepreneurs. The Tony Elimelo Foundation has committed $100 million to a preeminent Pan-African Entrepreneurs HIP program that is set up uh, to empower 10,000 startups across Africa within the next 10 years. In part one of our viewer exclusive interview, Africa 54's Paul Ndiho sat down with uh, Parminda Veer, Chief Executive Officer of the Tony Elimelo Foundation, in New York, and uh, she shares our foundation's visions uh, with us. What attracted me to the foundation was its focus on African entrepreneurship and supporting African entrepreneurship, but more fundamentally that it was espousing a particular economic philosophy of Afri-capitalism, which is that African, and particularly the African private sector, must lead in the development of Africa, i.e. it's Africans who must take responsibility now for the development of Africa. So if they're not looking for aid, they're saying that it's Africans who must invest in the development of Africa. And this is what Tony Olumalu is talking about when he talks about Afri-capitalism. The other thing that really attracted me to the foundation, they were looking at redefining philanthropy. So here is you know, an incredibly successful man. Um, he could simply have retired, enjoyed his wealth. But here he was, how he can exercise um, wealth with social responsibility. How much of an impact do you think uh, that foundation has had on uh, young African entrepreneurs so far? The impact far exceeds um, the size and the scale and the longevity of the foundation. It's you know, in the last four or five years, is looked at, um, is have developed programs around leadership. Um, it's developed programs around competitiveness, right? It's because Mr. Lumalu himself is an entrepreneur and his, you know, he really sees African entrepreneurs as the lifeblood for the economic development of Africa. And he really wants to encourage young entrepreneurs to think about job creation and not be job seekers. The ambition for the program is to really find and empower those entrepreneurs across Pan Africa. And that is exactly what we have done. What does it take for a young entrepreneur somewhere in South Africa, <coughs> somewhere in uh, South Africa, Uganda, Kenya, to be part of this program? First, I think it's important that you really want to be an entrepreneur. I think entrepreneurship is not for every. This is a program that is going to grow entrepreneurs, create entrepreneurs. It's not a grant seekers program. But what does it take for me? It's, it's that fire in your belly. It's the passion. It's the fundamental belief in your business idea. So similarly with the, with the, with the African entrepreneurs from wherever they are, they, there has to be that fire in the belly, there has to be that passion, there has to be that drive to really make this particular idea of yours work. I've had uh, the privilege of uh, crisscrossing uh, the continent and I've met some incredibly talented uh, young people. But one of the things uh, they talk about is uh, they like seed funding. And that capital really can give them a start and take it to the next level. So where does uh, uh, the foundation come in? So I want to really challenge that notion that there is lack of funding across the African continent. There is not a lack of capital across the African continent. It's that the capital does not find investable opportunity. So I say to the entrepreneurs, money is not the issue. It's your ability to manage and leverage that money and multiply that money. So I'd say to all of those entrepreneurs out there who say capital, lack of Access to capital is a, is a problem. I would say no. I'd say from now having done the program for the first year, T20, um, 2015, financial literacy is a big, big problem. That a lot of entrepreneurs go out looking for money when in fact what they should be working on is defining their idea. Well, Africa 54, Paul Dio, talking to Pramida Via, the CEO of the Tony L. Melu Foundation. In part two, Ms. Pramida Via talks about a mentorship program that gave a thousand entrepreneurs with ideas up to $5,000 each. Stay tuned.
Now, earlier this year, the Tonu Elumelu Foundation selected 1,000 entrepreneurs from nearly 20,000 applicants from 52 African countries to participate in a two-day boot camp in Nigeria. In a recent conversation with Africa 54's Paul Ndiho, Parminder V, CEO of the Tony Elumelu Foundation, spoke about the objective of the initiative. Well, you know, we have a thousand entrepreneurs on our program from 51 countries. A large percentage of them are from um, Nigeria. It's the largest economy, the youngest population, and it is a population with um, entrepreneurship in their DNA. Everybody is an entrepreneur, and that's fantastic, yeah? Um, but there were, you know, Ghana, Uganda, Kenya, South Africa, were the other um, countries from where we got large numbers of entrepreneurs, They're, you know, believing in their ideas and that their ideas are transformative. They really can transform. Uh, is there like a, a certain a, a cap or a certain amount of money that you have to have for you even to consider being part of the foundation? Now, in order for you to apply to the um, to the Tony Lumlu Entrepreneurship Program, you just have to have one thing, which is a really compelling idea. An idea, that a business idea, an enterprise that you are fully committed to realizing. Uh, I'm just uh, curious. Uh, I've read uh, some criticism about uh, the foundation. They said that uh, since uh, Mr. Tony L. Mellon is a businessman, uh, there's definitely something in it for him uh, to be pursuing such a, uh, such a venture. Uh, what's in it for the foundation? It is the philanthropic vision and, and passion and ambition of a man who has made money, Rockefeller, Ford, all of these people made money. And it, there comes a point where you can only have so many houses, right? You can only have so many cars. But I think what he will be really known for is the work that his foundation, the Tony Olamalu Foundation, began doing in 2010. How it empowered and skilled thousands of entrepreneurs across Africa and through them changed the perception of Africa and the African narrative. Yeah, That's what's in it for him. Yeah, I've run into some uh, young people who are also uh, aspiring entrepreneurs and they say that uh, uh, they would like to be part of uh, this uh, uh, Tony Elman Foundation. But unfortunately, uh, they can't just get there. They they have set the standard so high or the bar so high that it eliminates so many people. How would you respond to that kind of uh, criticism? I think it's, it's important for us to set certain standards, yeah? Um, and that people then aspire to those standards. But what interests us is the sustainability of, your, of the idea. So similarly, when we conceived of this program, we didn't see it as a one-off initiative. We didn't say, oh, let's try a pilot for one year and then we'll see. Yeah? I mean, we've done the, uh, the pilot, as it were. Um, we said, no, let's make a commitment to doing this for 10 years, yeah? um, which means that we've got to get the governance, the infrastructure, the foundation, the framework right. And then, yes, we can tweak on that, but we mustn't lower the standard. But, you know, the mindset is, or the mi mentality in, in Africa, which is what Mr. Um, Alumalu wants to change, is I need to go and find a job. But what he wants to say is, no, find the drive within and, 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 and come up with some, you know, business ideas that you can create jobs. You can be the employer of people rather than the seeker of jobs.